with the weather today, uh, I'm at mom's house. We're making a pasole, uh, which is a Mexican soup. And I'm actually giving this knife a try out since uh, the new handle and the sharpening. And something that I was thinking while I was doing this is uh, I had somebody teach me how to use a knife. And they said in a lot of uh, cooking schools, when they teach people to use a chef's knife, the blade actually has a connection so that it can't come off the board. So you move the knife uh, with the tip staying down instead of moving the whole knife. And I can actually uh, mince pretty good that way. However, I do take my knife off to scrape it and etc. etc. I do enjoy cooking. Uh, so it's probably why I was in mom's kitchen and saw the broken handles in the first place. Uh, but she's uh, still having problems with her vision uh, after the cataracts, partly due to she was wearing bifocals and they only put a single vision lens in for the cataracts and she has had strokes in her eyes. But we're going to record bits and pieces of the uh, pasole making. Something else I learned from that same person about uh, using a chef's knife is when you use a knife, you always wash your knife immediately. And if you're not going to wash it, at least rinse it. That way it saves uh, fingers getting cut if it inadvertently ends up in the sink. And it also takes better care of your knives. Well, on the pasole, uh, it started off with about a oh, pound, pound and a half of pork that uh, was cubed in about three, half to three quarter inch. I'm going to have to make a few smaller. They were just something that was in mom's freezer. Uh, put in two cans of Juanita's uh, hominy. They are, how big? 25 ounce. All she had was white, so we used that. Then we two cans of the petite diced uh, with sweet onion tomatoes. And I'm currently doing uh, chopping some whole green chilies to go in with it. Uh, I did put a medium yellow onion. I also put a couple heaping uh, spoonfuls of minced garlic out of a bottle. Uh, about a teaspoon, maybe a little more. I didn't measure, I just put it in the palm of my hand of some garlic powder as well as some onion powder. I'm not sure I'm going to have to put this in and stir it up. I may add more. Then we need to get the cumin and the uh, chili powder and black pepper, etc. Uh, it's not traditional hominy. It's, we're not doing all the cilantro, the oregano. We're just doing the basics because you have to make sure that everybody likes it. Um, but this is just a quick one and putting it in the crock pot and that's going to be dinner. Well, it was determined by me uh, that need more green chilies. So I'm just going to chop some more up to add to it. Uh, the meat, I still need to make some of it a bit smaller. And it's still tenderizing uh, with the onion and the garlic. Getting the flavor. Uh, but eh, it's not even noon yet. Should uh, definitely be ready by this evening. I'm definitely coming to mom's for dinner tonight, especially since I'm the one making it, and it's something that I enjoy.
This is a wonderful tool. Love it. We'll get back to it, show you when it's looking more done. Well, we've uh, put everything together. I put about two tablespoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin. It actually calls for cayenne pepper. Mom thought she had some, but it was empty. Uh, just going to put this in the crock pot and let it go for a while. We'll test it the flavor later. Uh, it looks better when there's yellow hominy, but mom didn't have any. But it still looks good enough to eat. Uh, maybe you have to do some uh, cornbread to go with it to make up for not having the yellow hominy. Uh, but we'll be doing taste tests, so probably in a few hours, see if it needs any more of anything. Somewhat of a lull in the storm at the moment, but this is the wheelbarrow that was uh, left sitting down. Uh, oh, I don't know. Two and a half inches. Look, looks like there's more than there is. But there's still cloudy. Uh, we're going to get more. I'm sure the forecast actually called for it starting at 9 and going till about 6. It actually started last night around 9 and uh, it's noonish now and we're just in one of the lulls the desert never really rains real hard for real long it just rains kind of in spurts or at least typically just uh, taking the bottoms off the cans because that fits in the recycle just a lot better and just as I was doing that I heard this start. So, like I said, it comes in uh, spurts. Rain and some more. Well, now there's hail, so I guess uh, this spurt of rain has a little bit of ice with it. good well there's still a bit of weather um i wanted to well if it'll show up show this well i was uh taking mom to the follow-up i asked her doctor about the sunglasses they'd given her after the surgery because they highly dilated her eye and he mentioned this uh It's a thing from the Moran Eye Center. It's the FL41 filter glasses uh, for people with migraines. Um, I don't have migraines, but I do have extreme light sensitivity. 
uh, I'm actually liking the fact that it's overcast, but I am still squinting today. It's still cloudy. There's a little bit of blue showing here and there, but I've still got my eyes squinted, and it's just something I'm going to look into. Uh, the form here says that they can't put the coating on if you have a gla uh, anti-glare coating. I actually checked uh, when I had my glasses made last. They do not. Um, but I may had two pairs made. And I'm thinking that I'm going to send this in and get uh, my glasses uh, with that coating. If you have existing glasses, it's $35 plus shipping. Um, I'm going to call them and ask because it mentions here, when we receive your glasses, we will contact you to discuss how dark you want the tint, depending on how you will be using them. And since these are my second pair of glasses, I think I'm going to have them just darken them as dark as they can go. That's uh, just something I thought I'd bring up since I'm I am still squinting but not nearly as bad as normal and let's just look at these clouds they just look isn't it a beautiful stormy sky well it's time to test it's been about three hours since I put this on uh, put it in a little before noon it's now three o'clock stir it up a little bit it's looking really good it's smelling great I just asked mom for spoons and I got a handful. Uh, let's let her try a little bit first here. Yeah, it's warm. Mm. Perfect. Mom says perfect. I think I have to agree. It's got some heat. It's it is bubbling a little bit in the crock pot. I'm going to turn it down and just let it, uh, well, kind of simmer, if it will, uh, for two or three more hours. Should be wonderful by about five or six. Uh, but it's definitely turning out well. It's getting to be time to eat. Mom's actually decided on uh, toast to go with it. Uh, so she's getting that ready, and then I'll start serving. Well, there it is on the table, getting ready to eat. It looks really good, even though it doesn't have the yellow hominy. Uh, Mom's just doing the last piece of toast. And then we're going to sit down to eat. Thanks for watching. If you like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or share.